This is the Estate Swing Wireless FT25B photo eye. Now it is wireless on the secondary side. The primary side still gets wired to the gate opener. You're going to feed power from the gate opener, positive on the first terminal, negative on the second terminal, 12 or 24 volts. The third, fourth, and fifth terminal are normally closed, common, and normally open. Normally closed and common will get used for a safety device with estate swings. For safety devices on non-estate swings, they still use the normally open. So if you're going to use this to trigger the gate to open or as a safety device on a non-estate swing, you're going to use the normally open and common. But for triggering the gate opener, you're always going to use a combination of normally closed and common or normally open and common. It just depends what you want this device to do and what type of gate opener it's being installed to. On the secondary side, you must use lithium 3.6 volt AA batteries. You cannot use standard AA batteries. When you attach power to the primary side, the light will not be on. There will be no indication of incoming power until the secondary side is lined up. You will, you will then see the light on in the center when something is interrupting the beam. The light will turn off. When the beam is reconnected, the light will turn back on.